Today's video is going to be about crocodile training, and I'll be working with Aries, as you can see right here, and Toothy, his girlfriend. And I want to show you how we get to this point right here. Okay, but first, we got to get the cameras in the enclosure, so watch this. So this is as I just put the GoPro through the door in the ground. I was trying to move the vegetation out of the way, and you can see Toothy, the female, just comes flying in and lunges for my hand. She's very, very quick and very alert. I then have to back her up with the stick, as you can see me doing right here. And it's really important to point out that I use the stick to just kind of annoy her. You can see I'm just kind of like rubbing it on her face and just kind of gently annoying her with it and kind of getting her to back up. I don't ever hit her with the stick. I don't ever strike her with the stick. That's very important to understand when I'm training these guys. And then I'm able to make a path and then get myself into the enclosure. This is just coming through the door, okay? Now you also notice I'm wearing boots. A lot of people comment on my footwear all the time whenever I'm working with the gators. I'm usually in sandals. And here I usually wear boots. Sometimes I do it in sandals in here too. But the thing about this enclosure is it's very rocky and has a very steep incline. So it's very difficult footing. Okay, now here comes Aries. He's gonna come over and check me out. We're gonna try to slow him down a little bit and move the camera a little bit closer. Now Aries is the main one that I work with in here because he has a little bit more of a calm disposition and I've been able to get a lot further training with him. Now he is a Cuban Nile crocodile hybrid and so that is an unusual hybridization that occurred in captivity where two animals were kept decades ago and they were kept in the same enclosure because it wasn't known that they could even hybridize at the time and so that's what produced him so we work with him and then the female is a full-blooded Cuban crocodile. Training these guys is all about repetition and patience, okay? And so he's still targeting me, not the food. Now what's cool is right now we have the GoPro running on the ground, but I also have my friend Amanda who has my iPhone in her hand and is running video from her point of view as well. So we're able to see this point of view and then we're also going to jump over and see what this looks like from her point of view. Open now. Aries. So he's still targeting me right now, not the food. Aries. Aries. Now that was obviously not the behavior I wanted, but I give him a little piece just to give him to kind of calm down because I get the feeling he's becoming a little bit frustrated that he hasn't got the food yet, but he's not doing the behavior he's supposed to do yet either. So it's kind of a, it's, it's always a work in progress basically. Open. Open. Good. There you go. So there's a few different behaviors I'm working on teaching him, such as coming when he's cold, which he's already great at, and then also being habituated, being calm around me, and then also opening his mouth up when I say open, which he knows how to do. I also touch him a lot and get him used to being touched and interacted with, and that'll make things a lot easier if we ever need a vet checkup or anything like that. Now, also, you'll notice I touch underneath the jaw, and a lot of people get the idea that this is some sort of magical pressure point, or that it will somehow prevent him from being able to bite you, or that it does something to him. That's all completely false. Touching under the jaw does absolutely nothing to the animal in a physical sense, and from my point of view, it gives me a very limited ability to control the head, but they can 100% still bite you from this point of view, and I have had friends get bit like that. Now here you can see the female coming up, so I start to back up myself a little bit. So if you've not seen my other videos before, she is like lightning, and she is terrifying. I mean, he can lunge anytime too, but she will fly after you. Easy. Good. I would love to work with her more. Um, and this is a great enclosure for the animals. This is not a good enclosure for training, okay? Because this is basically the only playground I have. Because uh, if you're on that hill and she comes at you, you, yeah, if you slip, you're dead. So that's the challenge of working in here with them is he's really nice. He's pretty calm. He'll still bite you 100%, but she leaps at you. And 
because she's nowhere to go because of the incline. So you've got like a very small square footage of actual workable space. So it makes it very difficult to work in here with them. He's being really good though. There you go. There's a good boy. Here, I'm gonna move the GoPro. And he'll occasionally lunge at me too, so I always keep the stick, you know, up and ready. Now with my training, I want to get him very used to me, but I also like to test my boundaries and see what he's really thinking and what he's really capable of. So sometimes I will move myself in very close to see how he's going to react. And I do this to really gauge his reaction, but then also to kind of show the training as well. So it's a twofold purpose here. So what I'm about to do is a little bit crazy. Now I get right up face to face with him, literally nose to nose with him. He opens up his mouth and yet he stays calm. He's working with the training. Now this is not always the case. The first few times I tried doing this, he lunged up and tried to grab me by the head. And so it's always a work in progress. Again, it is never quote unquote safe or anything like that. And uh, he can try to take a, take a chunk at you anytime. You know, you always have to be very careful and very, very cautious working with him. A lot of people also see this and think, wow, you must really trust him. And the answer is no, I don't trust him at all. I trust my ability to read the situation and read his behavior. And that's what I'm working off of. Not that I trust him. It's that I trust myself and my experience. Now, right after having that awesome interaction with him, Aries is doing really well. He's doing great with the training and he's being very calm and very well behaved. Then the female starts to show an interest as well. So she starts creeping up. And again, her name is Miss Toothy, which is a pretty good name for her. And she starts creeping in a little bit slowly. And you can see I'm, I'm very cautious with her and I'm very quick to jump away. And then she comes in, comes in, and then starts to target the GoPro. <laughs> okay. So I have to back her up a little bit. So I take the stick and I put that in her mouth. Now it doesn't hurt her at all. It's like a tongue depressor kind of thing. It just makes her like uh, a little bit uncomfortable. You know, it doesn't taste good. And that's what I'll use to back her up. And again, that's so much better than trying to strike her or hit her or anything like that. And maybe it'll back her up right there next to Aries. Now I have to be cautious with the two of them together like this. They do not like work together per se, but if one of them sees the other one get an advantage and they recognize you're at a disadvantage, they will take advantage of that opportunistically. So they do not work together as a pack. They don't work together in that aspect. But again, they're very smart. And if one sees one get an advantage, they're going to take advantage of the situation just the same. So you have to be very careful. You know, there's also no sense of like, he's going to attack me because I'm moving her or vice versa or anything like that. They don't work together in that aspect either. But Aries being very good, he's sitting perfectly still like a statue with his training right now. But if she were to throw me off my balance or anything like that at any moment, he will definitely move in to try to bite me. So she wants to come up and work with me and she's not that bad. Like I really want to work with her. She's just so jumpy and lunges so far that like right now she's pretty calm and she's being pretty good and she's up here right next to him she's mirroring what he's doing and so she's like if i do the same thing i'll get food they're very smart so she's doing the same thing he's doing and so she's like okay he'll give me food and i would love to the only problem is there's nowhere for me to escape if she decides to lunge and i played this game enough with him where i i know his lunges and he does lunge too you know but like i know how to anticipate his hers it's, it's very different. You can't anticipate hers and she's so fast and goes so far. And that's what makes this so much more scary. There we go. So here, I'll give her, I'll give her a big piece right here. There we go. That's pretty good. But even so, it's like, man, you guys, his back feet getting ready. Oh, <laughs> it's your yeah. back feet. She put him back out so that she can get traction. Good boy. <laughs> She's so fast. There you go. That was
was calm. Does that look like it's looking at me? Or at them? Uh, mostly Aries. That's wide. That'll be good. It's the other thing, too, is I can't, like, take my eyes off of them. You know, of course. So you see me, I'll, I'll like feel around mm -hmm. the camera. <laughs> there, good. Yeah, the Handsome boy. She's so smart. Look at her opening her mouth. Yeah, she's, she's catching on. I mean, I guess if you started working with them in this kind of way, it's not too bad. Like in terms of you having a way to get out if you need to. Well, the thing is what we're doing right here too, we're, we're basically, we're teaching two different things. You're good, you're okay. Don't lose attention. You're introducing and maintaining, right? I'm also teaching her to sit in front of the door. Huh? Okay, that's true. This is not where I want to be doing this interaction. Oh, okay. yeah, with guess. either of them, you know? But I, I often do it with him because I, I can with him because he, if he has my back against the wall, I know the way he lunges, he's not gonna, not gonna get me. She will though. Oh, you see that? <laughs> How like gentle and calm that was? She's keeping the mouth open. She's opening up. Wide yeah, and she's wide. getting it. <laughs> she's lightning fast. I'm not forgetting you. You're good. But yeah, so like ideally I, I wouldn't want to be feeding them here necessarily, but it's where we are. And this is some good progress with her, so I want to work with it. Come on. So, if you were, well you're watching me do this, what are your questions that you think other people would be asking as they're watching? Well, my questions are, I was curious as, so the whole opening the mouth thing, mm -hmm. was that a, just, you just took advantage of the fact that it was open, kind of just had him do that association? Like, oh, every time my mouth opens, I get food, or did you want him to open on command? Was that like a... No, I wanted him to open on command and sit here with his mouth open, you know? Is that, did you establish that kind of how you did with Toothy, kind of by, with the stick? Yeah, oh, it's incremental. And see, look, 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 look at that. Perfect. Good. Oh, nice. That's what you want. And so, whenever you're training an animal, it's so much easier to work off and, look at that. Instant. Exactly. They're That's what we want. too intelligent. So, when you're training, you want to work off a natural behavior. So, they naturally sit with their mouth open. That's a thing that they do. So, if you wait for that opportunity like what we've been doing with her you wait for that opportunity and then you reward that natural behavior and that's so much easier than trying to force out a behavior so like i was trying to open the mouth and i've done that and i've got that to work where i can open his mouth with my hand and then give him the food and then he figured it out or if you just see it happen and then reward it as it happens that's so much easier like you, by like approximating well you're, you're getting them to, to associate that i'm out of food now though <laughs> unfortunately even though she's being really good did you want something else? I mean, she is being very good. I can go see if some of that chicken is. Well, once we leave, it's it's gonna be like starting over again kind of thing. I can go do it if you want though. No, it's okay. okay. We, we can leave it at this. That was really good. Thanks so much for watching this week's video. Don't forget to like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss one of our weekly episodes. That's all for now and we'll see you guys real soon.